So welcome to our tour of our redneck vacuum kiln. We have a 10 foot long, 4 foot wide oil drum that we cut in half and uh, fabricated the lid. Inside we got a diamond plate. Underneath here is a heat pad. And then on the outside seal we've got PVC tubing, rubber tubing that was cut in half and bent over. It's, it's a really good seal. It'll hold its full pressure for probably 12 or 13 hours. In the back I've got a small oil cooler and a couple of lights so I can use it as a heat kiln if I don't seal it. The lens just has a standard flange. The way it operates is four bolts, one on each corner. Go ahead and put this in. Tighten up the bolts. This is our vacuum line. Hook this up to a small vacuum pump. We've got our gauge right up here. Tells us our mercury setting. Get it on off switch for servicing the vacuum pump. All of our mechanics for our wires come out here, and we've got a sealant made with two-part epoxy on this, so we don't lose anything here. And then it's on a trailer. So if somebody wants to drive stuff in their property, we can go ahead and tow it out to where they're going to be, plug it in, 